Hey everyone, your friendly neighborhood Sponge Murphy here with another work in progress of Wednesday video. So uh, just when I think I haven't really been doing a whole lot, I just end up doing way more than I expected. <laughs> um, if you haven't been watching um, my late night hobby session videos, uh, a lot of this will be new to you guys. But if you had, uh, there might be only small updates since then. So let's start off this rat ogre that I've been chipping away at over the last couple of days, last even week and a half even. Um, what I did was I went for the pale kind of skin flesh on it, kind of like a like a zombie, uh, rabid kind of uh, rat ogre. So I um, went with the red, I know the colours are a bit funny here, it's very bright on one side, but hopefully you can see. Uh, for the scars, what I did was originally... I just went with a red wash in between the gaps but it wasn't really coming out that great so with uh, the effect paint if I can find it if I can remember blood for the blood god that's what it's called you know it gives you that blood effect uh, really good it comes out nice and shiny but not too shiny Um, you know a few little bits need to be tidied up here and there but other than that it's coming along pretty nicely on the scars uh, I have to do the stitching and everything on this so hopefully once the stitching is on uh, it won't look as bad. Um, I went on his mouth as well to look like he's like in the middle of feasting. Like he's after eating something, he's after catching some unfortunate guy. And he's starting to chew on him. Uh, but he's coming out pretty nicely, you know. I just have to try and find a round base for him that's this size. I might have an old dreadnought base I might be able to use. Um, let's have a look at this guy then. So, you know, like from maybe about a week ago, I finished up this guy. My little Skaven Debt Runner. I'm pretty happy how he turned out, you know. Not too major, not too spectacle or spectacular on him. Just a few basic paint jobs with a few highlights. Um, but it's a really, really nice looking model. Uh, he came out nice enough. Uh, so what I was doing over the last few days was working on the last kind of week, work chipping away at doing the base. So this is what I come up with. I, again, I put a blood for the blood god uh, kind of effect there. Make it look like there's like a little pools of blood going around wherever he is. Then I stuck these skulls on the side of it here as well. So that'll give it a real uh, dark effect. So I just have to paint the skulls and tidy up the base then. And put a bit more of the blood for the blood god on it. And that's it for this one. So hopefully he should be on that base pretty soon. Now I have to move this stuff out of the way for the big guy. Now in the last uh, night session... Uh, late night hobby session video I was talking about a conversion idea for for clan molder like to add another hell pit abomination because they can pretty much make anything like the hell pit abomination doesn't have to be the one you get in the kit you know they make monsters uh, so I wanted to convert up my giant um, so I stripped all the paint off him and start hacking it a few bits so I kind of I took off the neck first what the plan was I was wanting to put a vermin lord head here I keep forgetting that it focuses on that green mat. I, keep, I have to take that off. Um, so I chip, took off the neck. Uh, the head was way too small. No way would a Vermilard head would have looked anything anywhere half decent on him. So that idea kind of got scrapped. Uh, and then I moved on to my Gorgon box. So I had like plenty of spare bits in that. Like two or three spare heads. Um, but when you put him on it. You know, the head looks, well, I know it's not perfect there, but the head looked a bit too big. And if anything, it just looked like a kit bash of a Gorgon model. So I didn't want to do that. I wanted to really have the Skaven look. So then I like I had these two bits left over from the Hellpit Abomination. These are like the two rats that kind of stick out of the belly of the Hellpit Abomination itself. And the two of them, I just about was able to wedge them in there and glue them into the neck, hole in the neck. Originally, I wanted one of them to come out of the belly. So um, so I think it's, it's a pretty cool little effect, you know, it's like it surely shows the the kind of maniac and crazy side of Clan Mauler. You know, there's no head on this monster, it's just two rats coming out that's controlling it, maybe. Um, I got the Hell Pit Abomination arm here, which I cut back the arm to the shoulder. Uh, shaped this one, so it has a kind of mechanical arm. Uh, this side I left the giant hand on. Because when you have him like this walking... It, just, uh, it looks nice with the two arms coming out like that, you know. Originally, I had this hand. Um, this is the, another giant arm, but with the Vermin Lord uh, Warbringer kind of glove on it with the blade. And when you put that in, 
And this is this is a full hole. It looks way too big. It looks massive, and I don't want to cut the iron back anymore. So that idea got scrapped pretty quick. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just fitting things on. I might put something in the hand here, all right. But you know it's looking pretty decent. Now he's not finished there yet, and I, I know I have to fill the gaps for the neck and everything. Um, but what I thought was for the back of him, uh, you see on the hell pit abomination, there's lots of wires and stuff like that connected to him. So the bits left over, I had these little, um, I don't know what you'd call them, these little connectors maybe of warp zone. They're very small, so what I'm wanting to do is to place them going down along his back. I uh, have some wires left over here. Uh, where's the other one? There's another one in there somewhere. So, oh, and then I want them to be controlled by some like fucking box or something. But then, ideally, on the base, I'm wanting to put uh, a pack master with them. So, you know, when you're, when you're making monsters, kind of like the Frankenstein effect, you're going to need something to bring them to life. So, a jolt of, or a couple of jolts of warp stone. And all these places along his back will really make that um, come to life. He might come to life a little bit more. Um, and it kind of makes a bit more sense and adds a bit more to him as well. Um, I changed his feet to these beastly feet. Which I, I, I was thinking about changing it back. But I think I'll keep him for now. But that's it for him. His base, it's a pity because his base is so nice. I'm gonna have to cut that and put on a round base. I'm gonna try and find a round base for this guy as well. God knows what size it's gonna be. Um, and that is it for now. Um, like, oh no, it's not. Jesus Christ, what am I thinking? Crazy guy. Finally, finally, I got around to getting way more, a lot more work done on my debt runner conversion. Um, let me see. Let's put this behind him so we can get him focus just a little bit. Um. A lot of the colors are finished, just a few highlights on them and a bit more work on the skin. But I got the the torch finished, which I'm really happy with. The only thing is, like, well, it's not finished. I had to add a few little black spots on my hair and there, just for the fire effect. But I was thinking about putting a glass varnish on it, but I don't think, I think I might ruin it a little bit. I'm kind of happy the way it is. But to get that kind of glow effect off it, or that shiny look, I'm not sure. But the wings come out pretty nice. I'm happy how they look. Um, they're not finished, the insides are finished, just to finish the outside here, the kind of the bony, harder skin parts. Uh, another layer of skin colour on that, and then just tidy up the inside here, because I got a couple of bits. Um, I've made a few mistakes, so it's just to go over it and tidy it up. But other than that, he's pretty much near enough finished, he won't take, I said by the next update video, he will be done. And I'm looking for his base now, wherever I put it, oh there it is. You know, if you guys forgot, I do have a base made for him. So he'll be getting popped onto that pretty soon. So I'm really happy how he's coming along. You can't see any of the, the marks from the tail that I added on. So it's all fit, fit in really nice actually. I'm surprised how kind of half decent this guy turned out. So I'm happy to have him nearly finished. But that is it. That's definitely it. There's no more, there's no more models here to add in. So I got the Hell Pit Abomination slash Giant Conversion. The Rat Ogre is nearly finished. Um, finished the base for the Death Runner. And this guy, this little beaut, I'm just looking at him again, I'm really happy how he turned out. Uh, he will be finished. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure to leave a comment below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next video.